G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Elm oh, Creek Farm. That's right, we are back and continuing on with our farming here at Elm Creek. And we've got lots to do today. So let's just get straight into it, shall we? So as you can see here, we've got a new trailer. Uh, and this new trailer is chock block loaded with chickens. Let's have a look. All right, come right through here. Right, there we go. We got some chickens. We got about 400 chickens in there. Chickens have come from our chicken pens here. So you'll see now that we've... These chicken pens were chockers. Uh, let me put the um, HUD back on. Um, we've now got 460 chickens in the pen. Uh, the same with this one. Uh, we've now got 460 chickens in this pen because we took, like I said, 200 pen chickens out. So what are we going to do with this duck? Well, this is going over to our butchery. So let's get it over there. Now, what's the butchery? So remember, in the last episode, we put the butchery in, which is the uh, part of the first biggest part of the upgrade of the Dragon Den Pack 1.4, um, done by the wonderful Black Dragon. He's done a fantastic job with this. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to kickstart off our meat production um, with the chickens that we're going to take over there right now. So let's go over there and we're going to put these in and we're going to see what we're going to make from that and see how profitable that's going to be. Now, talking about profits, a couple of other things too. So in the latest update, um, Dragon uh, Black Dragon has tweaked a couple of things as well as I have as in relation to um, drivers. So the fruit processing facility, for instance, we've dropped the cycles per hour uh, rate. So we're not making quite so much jam and juices and stuff. Um, we've also dropped the prices a little bit um, just to sort of give it a bit more of an even flow because we were making far too much money really from it. Anyway, so that's um, that's something we've done. So let's I'll have a look at this first. We're going to come in here. We're going to, uh, so chickens, we've got 400 out of 416 chickens on our truck. We're going to offload 400. So we're going to unload the animals. So simple as coming in, when we get to the trigger, we press R, unload the animals. Yes. Okay, so they've been sent to production. All right, now we're going to come into our production here. We're going to come down here, production, and here's our butcher. And you'll see here that we've now got 400 litres. It's one litre per chicken. <laughs> um, 400 litres of chickens in here. So now if we actually activate the chicken processing and the whole chicken, we'll get chicken breast, we'll get drumsticks, we'll get chicken wings, we'll get, um, what was this one? I've forgotten again now. Uh, animal fat. Uh, here we go, we'll talk tenderloins. All right, we're going to get tenderloins. Um, and then also we get whole chickens, all right? So we're going to activate those. So we're going to go enter and enter. And that will now start producing our chickens. Excellent, so that's underway. Right, now, as you can see here, I'm just going to look at this quickly. Um, so what we've done in here, we've actually dropped the cycles. So this was about 796 cycles a month. It's now down to 600 for the jams. And for the juices, this was uh, 1,200 and something, and it's now 1080. We dropped it by 20%, okay? So we're, not, we're producing it 20% slower, effectively. All right, so we got the chickens done. Excellent. So I'm going to take this... Um, and just park it over here. In fact, no, I'm going to take it over. I'm going to take it over to where we've got the cows because we might take some cows over soon. Not straight away, but soon. Anyway, um, so that's the first load of that done. So we'll keep an eye on that and see when our first deliveries come out, our first uh, products come out. And um, we'll see how much money can be made from our butchery. Now, obviously, the butchery is going to be a bit of a slower thing as well, and it's going to be cyclic because. We're not going to have a huge amount of animals to con consistently put into um, the butchers. So it's going to be in spurts. Uh, but that also means the butcher products is something we'll, we probably will wait and sell um, in the particular high period, so when there's high demand. So um, anyway, we'll, that's a longer term thing we'll come to a little bit later. All right. We're just going to park it here on this little pasture. Now, the other thing is, too, I wanted to talk about is we got to zero dollars on our loan, didn't we? Well, we're not anymore. I got a loan of $400,000, and I bought 
the class saddle truck, or saddle track, uh, 5,000. And we bought the Koiko slurry tanker with attachment. Now, I got rid of the Samson one, um, and I'm going to give this a go. So um, that's what we've done. Now, I have also... Um, <laughs> I also sold our tanker by mistake. Um, I had to buy a new one when I sold off the other Samson. I sold the, the other tanker, not that. Um, so we've done that. Um, what else have we done? Uh, we also bought a new tanker trailer, um, which is actually the one from the Dragon Den Pack, purely from the point of view that we needed to transport um, some sap around because we had our three sap uh, maple groves. Um, and they were chock a block. Two of them was chock a block at two hundred thousand. Anyway, um, we've since removed two maple groves because um, it was just far too much. So we removed two maple groves, but we've also put in another um, maple processing plant. Okay, so this one here, another syrup house. So that's now running as well. So we've got one there, and we've got one down in here, if you remember correctly, right over there. Um, I haven't done any tidying up around this place yet. We just put it in. So I had all this extra um, sap. So I had 500-odd thousand sap, and it wasn't going anywhere. So that's what we've done. Now, this this might only be a temporary building. Um, we'll see how things go. But um, Black Dragon reckons that the one maple um, installation over there will run two syrup houses without a problem. So we'll see. Now, here is the new um, tanker we bought, and we also bought a new truck. So we, we spent a bit of money. Um, we had money there, but we've, we've just spent it. So... Um, here it is here. So we've got the Black Anthem 6x4 and we've got a 100,000 litre tanker truck. So this is what we're going to use for um, our milk because we sold off our other our little man truck uh, and the milk. So we're going to use this for that. All right. Now, what I want to do, actually, if I think... I don't know if I've topped the milk up. Well, let's have a look at that quickly. Got lots of different things to get done today. No, I haven't topped it up. Right. That's okay. All right, we're going to come over here. I'm going to see how much milk we've got. Oh, the other thing is, too, we've, we've also put in a new silo. We've done lots of things, actually. Um, we've put in a new silo. Now, this silo here is primarily just to hold um, stuff for the farm in this part of the area. So at the moment, it's particularly just got hay and silage. So we're taking silage from here and placing it over here and bringing hay over from the other side as well. Now, the reason being is obviously we've got two cow pens over here and we're going to really need to be using the silage here and also some hay. So having bulk over here is going to serve as well. And then we're going to maintain about 200,000 litres thereabouts over in the main silo near the farm. So that's all well and good. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to see how much milk I've got in here. I think I've got some milk in the milk tanker here and we've taken everything out of here so the only thing that's now in this one is milk what should be out anymore no there's something else in there what else is in here oh mineral feed that's right we had the excess mineral feed all right what we're going to do is i'm going to fill up with some milk um there we go milk now we only need thirty thousand thereabouts There we go, that'll do. Oh, I stopped. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. 29,965. All right. So we're going to take this over and put this into the dairy. Oh, we haven't sold the other truck yet. What's that still doing there? I thought we sold that. Oh, no, I sold it on Hawk Bellarone. I've still got to sell it here. Right. So I've still got to sell it here. That, that was what the problem was. Right. Now I remember. See, too many games, too many things to remember. <laughs> and, and I'm getting old. <laughs> That's my excuse. Right. Come in here. We're going to offload the milk. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and check to make sure there's nothing in that other truck and trailers for the milk. I don't think there is. I think we emptied everything off. Um, there we go. Uh, there's no milk. Right. So we're going to sell him off. All right. Just going to sell it straight off. So that gets us some of our cash back. 126,000 back there. Uh, we've got the shop bug, so that's a fine. Then we go back in here. Uh, animals. Oh, why well, have we got three of these? I've got one that I don't use, don't I? Okay. There we go. All right. 
That gives us a bit of money again. 262,000 left. All right, good, excellent. Rightio, let's go over and have a look and see what we've done here. This should now be empty. Oh, 494. I'd just slightly over overfilled. Right, that's okay. All right, let's have a look at our status here. We've got um, we filled up with cocoa bean, which is good. So we got milk we're full of, and sugar. We just need to fill up some sugar, but we're going to be producing our dairy products without a problem. All right, I'm going to reverse this trailer out of the way a bit. There we go. All right. Okay, so we've got th those little bits and pieces done. Um, what else was there I need to do? Um, just trying to think what else there was. Uh, ah, well, the other big thing we've got to do is we've got to go off and we've got to um, do a harvest. So we're going to head on over and start harvesting. So let's take over the class combine. This is our newer combine. Well, actually, they're both class, but this, this combine here is our newer one. So we're going to take that over. What I'm going to do though is I have also installed the follow me mod finally. I've been saying I'm going to do it for ages. Right, so what I can do is instead of relying on the AI and stuffing things up like it tends to do. Right. We come up over here. Come up somewhere behind and we go shift F. No, control F. There we go. So we're now following 25 meters behind. There we go. Excellent. So what will now happen as I drive off on my combine the lovely new New Holland yes that's another new purchase <laughs> I swear though I didn't cheat I just had all, all the money we had sitting there I've just used it up and sold some other stuff off and recycled some stuff but that was a cheapie it was only 50, 50 grand um, and he's going to follow us along so we can take both of these over to the field in one go alright so we're going to get that done The, tri the the honeybee header absolutely dwarfs this combine. Uh, the, the tractor, I mean. All right. The other thing is, too, um, you get to see the honeybee uh, header in earnest. We haven't used that yet. I haven't actually done the mod review of that either yet, actually. Right now I think about it. Um, so you get to see um, how it all comes together, if I can remember. Um, but anyway, it should be fine. <clears throat> Come up past the uh, the here. So it's up one of these new fields we bought on the other side of the highway, the main road. Um, so that's what we're going to harvest off first. I can't even remember what the crop was, so I hope I got the right header. <laughs> it won't be the first time or the last time I go with the wrong header. Anyway, there is a new header, Capello header, sitting at the shop waiting for me. I haven't collected yet, so um, that it's not as if I have to travel very far for it. All right, now. This is the field over here. You can just see it here appearing on our now right hand side. We're going to go in past the fire station here. We're going to use. We got permission to use their uh, their driveway as access. Okay, there we go. So combine's here, and the combine header is here. So we're going to take that off. Uh, oh, hang on, we'll just turn it off. Um, no, just H does it. Right. Okay. That was fine. So we're going to come in here with the header. Now, I haven't actually... I haven't actually used this header at all in any way, shape, or form. So this is going to be interesting. All right. So there we go. We've got the header in position. Now we rub the combine again. And we'll collect the header. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up, we're going to connect the header first. There we go. Right, now connecting the header disengages the front part of the trailer, as you can see, okay? And then we're going to go to there, and we're going to go you, and then it disengages the other part of the trailer. So what we're then doing is we're going to reverse. Look at that huge header. Right, there we go. And then with the new Holland here, we're just going to reverse and grab the other part of the 
header trailer. I think I've got the right side of it. Probably got the other side we want. No, it's the other side we want, isn't it? Right. So we go to the reverse side. This is where it gets... You just got to remember how to um, line it up when you're actually getting it off. So, there we go. Attach that. And we pull the trailer out of the way. There we go. That's all done. Right. Turn off his lights. Don't do his lights on. Turn off his engine. Okay. That's all done. Excellent. And now, are we going to have this bug about getting into the combine again, aren't we? Right. Try the other side. Da, 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 there we go. Right. There we have it. Right. So let's unfold. Unfold the header. Right, there we go. Look at that huge header. Absolutely huge. Right, we're going to unfold the combine. And we're going to move into position. Like I said, we haven't tried an actual harvest in earnest with this header. We have done a, a quick test of it, um, <clears throat> but not actually used it for a full course or anything else. So time will now tell whether or not it's going to work. All right, so we're going to position him here. I am going to use a course play course because we have other stuff we want to get done as well at the same time. So we are going to do that. Right, course play. There we are, Alexan 8900. I'm going to create a job. Field work on this field. We're going to set it to about there. Generator. Right. 18.2 metres. That sounds about right. Multiple tools, no. Headlands. Um, two headlands should be sufficient. I'm going to do sharp headlands. I'm going to over 5%. Uh, field margin. We can piss that right back down. There we go. Generate the field work. There we go. Open, close. Okay, we're going to back out of there there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to go first waypoint and start he's going to fold himself up and travel about 10 meters and then unfold and get going again right at least one thing with this header as opposed to the draper header is it doesn't unfold the header and have the trailer and that um extended there we go travel about five meters and off he goes there we go look at that Excellent. It's excellent header. Excellent looking header. Custom Modding is the is the team that put this header together. Um, they do a fantastic work. Unfortunately, they do a lot of JD stuff, but Custom Modding, um, what they do do is fantastic. So, um, well done. Another great mod. Right. Now we need to get a trailer over here with um, something to offload. Um, what have we got? You will suffice. Let's take this guy over. He was just here to drop some silage off, so <clears throat> we'll use him with the belly dump trailer. We don't need to take the semi trailer over there. Okay. All right. Excellent. Now, something else we need to do, and it means we're going to spend more money. So it's, it's quite good we hadn't sold those tankers yet because I was um, being delayed in what I was going to do as my next step. Uh, but that's okay, we can get that going now. So once we get this guy over there, we're going to do some more additions to the farm. Only one addition, I think. I think I can afford that one addition at the moment. Um, and then that'll that'll be another another stage for us to get going with the um, with the farm. All right, out we go. Now, I'm not game enough to put this on auto unload with this header. Um, I'm not so sure how it's going to navigate. I'm going to have to do a test with that. So, in the meantime, we just bring him over here. And he's ready to go. All right, what's he at? 14%. He's doing barley. We're doing barley, so that's okay. All right, excellent. So, that's that done. Now, the other thing I want to do, um, here I'll do. We'll go over here. I want to, bom, 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 where are we? Okay. Right, now. 
Now, I had an epiphany on where I, what I was going to do. So, basically, we've got the butchers running, right? So, we've got chickens and we've got cows. But we haven't got any piggery. We haven't got a piggery. So, I want to put some pigs in. And I was trying to think where I was going to put some pigs. And I think the best place to put the pigs is right here. So, let's have a look. Now, see if I can afford to put the pigs in. I'm not going to buy any pigs as yet, I don't think. I've got to make sure I've got enough in the way of... Um, yeah, I can, put it, I can put a pigger in. Um, I want to make sure I've got enough in the way of um, feed ready to go for the pigs. Although I can just buy pig feed, I suppose, as long as I've got money. So my plan is I'm going to put one piggery here. I'm going to put another piggery up here. Okay, that's that's my plan. Um, now, I could do it that way as well. Problem with doing it, oh, is that going to work? I can do it that way. Um, go there. That will give us room on both sides still. Oh, it doesn't really matter which way we go, does it? Um, I think we might do it this way. So I'm going to put one piggery. Uh, there. All right, there we go. Hopefully that hasn't distorted that land there too much. That looks like that should be okay. And then the second piggery, at some point later on, will go there. Um, probably pull that back a little bit into there so we've got enough room to get around the top and, and turn around and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that, that we've got one piggery at least. Okay, so the piggery's in. Okay, so uh, that hasn't, no, that so should be okay. All right, yep, so the piggery's in. Excellent, right. Now, I'm going to need to either do a pig food mixer um, or something else. So, uh, let's have a look at the pig food mixers um, production. So, I think Stevie has a pig food mixer. Uh, here we go, here we go. Pig food mixing. There we go. Um, 80,000. Yeah. So that's not a problem. We, we can put one of those in, but that'll be a little bit later. Okay. All right. That is done and dusted. So we've got that done. Right. Nothing we to do. Um, right. So we've got... The other thing we did as well is we bought a pile of mineral feed. Uh, where are we? Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing your turn. Okay, very good. Um, we bought a pile of mineral feed, as you can see here. So we've got lots of cows, so we need to get lots of this. Now, that's all well and good. Now, the thing is, though, too, this is the last time we're going to buy it as um, as pallets because we've now got, thanks to the Dragon Den Pack, um, we've now got a buying station where we can buy it direct as bulk. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this over to the silo and I'm going to put all this in the silo and just use it as bulk. Um, just because it's easier to handle and we don't have it lying around as pallets. So um, that's how we're going to deliver this. And this will be the last time we do mineral feed, thankfully. So we're not having to press the bloody button twice for every purchase of a pallet, which still strikes me as overly incompetent on... Giant's behalf as a UI development. Anyway, we won't get started. We'll just continue on nicely. All right, what I haven't done is I haven't put my time up either. Let's put that up. We'll put it up to 15 uh, to catch up with the time we've lost so far. All right. So we're going to come up through here. I've got to do something with that all that grass space there as well. I've been meaning to think about what I was going to put in there, but... Right, so we've got 92,000 litres of, of mineral feed. Now, if I remember correctly, all I've got to do is offload it here and it will take it all in. Let's have a look and see if it does that. There we go. Which is excellent. It just means we can just put it all in there. We don't have to worry about it. Trailer load done. Another trailer load. And the last trailer load. There we go. All right. So let's put all that into that silo. So now all we have to do is grab a trailer and we can come on down and bring the, um, the feed down. So that's excellent. All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to head around here. Um, 
I'm going to take this up to the butchery and just leave it near the butchery for now. I don't have anything else really to do down here. We do have some product here to take out of the fruit processing facility. I'm not sure how much is there. Um, we've got to collect that. Um, we're also going to have... Oh, we've got a fair bit here, haven't we? Um, is it worth taking that out now? No, I'm going to leave that. I'll leave that there. I'll leave it there. Um, I don't think we've got... Have we got any over the other one? I'm not so, too sure. Um, we probably do, but anyway, we'll leave that for now. I'm um, just going to head over here. I want to see if there's anything being produced over here yet. I don't, certainly shouldn't have been, it shouldn't be that quick. Um, but we're going to head over here anyway and have a look. Take this over. So I'm, I'm very happy at the moment. Let me know in the comments down below, obviously, but I'm very happy at the moment with how we've developed and what we're developing with the farm. Um, I think we've... Um, our placement of everything is is quite good. I think we're we're okay in that regard. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, continuing on the development of Elm Creek. There we go. All right. So you're you're going to sit there. Excellent. Shut you off. Next. All right. What's next? We've got to do. Uh, you're full. That's okay. Uh, don't need you. Right, what was next on the plan? Uh, let me think. The combine's at 60%. He's doing up-downs now. There's only a small part of this field, really. Interesting, I'd miss those part, that part there. Nothing unusual, but anyway, it's um, it's missed it nonetheless. All right, what we might do is might go back and fill up that truck. Uh, do, 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 do. Bit of manure there, don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm going to finish filling this guy up. So... Last couple of pallets on there. Right, he's done. Right. Uh, I would say there's not much there by the look of it. So, uh, I'm going to offload. Uh, I would say that that's also not set for pallets. What's it set for? I love this bug that we get with um, Euro pallets. All right, that's right. No, that's right. That's um, what am I doing? I had the bloody dolly selected, didn't I? Right, there we go. Okay, let's see how much we've got in here. <clears throat> oh, we've got enough. So I think we might. Um, what is it, June? I think we might go and sell, just sell this product. We'll, we'll make a little bit of money again. Um, just because I wanted to see what the scale of, of money is going to be. Now, normally with this trailer, we've made about 300 odd thousand with a load of this product. So the combination of fruits and jams. So I just want to see um, what our price um, variation has done because obviously we shouldn't make anywhere near as much money which isn't necessarily a, a good thing in one aspect, I know. However, um, it just means we're not making a huge amount of money um, and overinflating our, our profits, which we've probably done already. But um, carefully looking at things and trying to balance them out. And that's what we're doing also with the meat. So with the butchery, we, we haven't changed anything on there. And we're going to... Um, see basically on the next couple of recordings um we're going to see how that balance goes with the production speed so as in how many cycles it's doing and, and what amount of products coming out from from each of the um animals we put in there but also the economy of scale of, of the sailing sale of those products as well so all right he's almost full he's full now right so let's go off and we'll Take this to market and sell it. Then we might come back and we'll grab the uh, the products out of the syrup house and we'll store them away. I'm not going to sell the syrup as yet, um, but we'll take this off and we'll sell this and uh, and see how much money we make. Hopefully, without tipping anything over. <laughs> 
Yes, I know, that's normally what duck does. Doesn't mean the duck wants to do it. Right, I'm going to avoid my shop here. I don't want to sell here. Right. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Because uh, that's where we're going to end it. Because... Um, it's basically time. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, let me know in the comments down below whether you uh, whether you agree with our placement of area and what you what we've done so far. I might in the next episode do a bit of a flyover um, and just sort of show the layout of the farm now. It's been 70 odd episodes and lots of things have changed since we first started with the layout of our farm. Um, and, uh, and I think we might... Um, it might not hurt to sort of show everyone the lay of the land, so to speak. We'll do it. We'll do it from an aerial view, and uh, we can see where we're at. It didn't tell me how much we made. All right, let's have a quick look. Um, old vehicles. Uh, da, 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 da. It's old products. Five hundred. That doesn't doesn't help. Right. Anyway. So, what did we make? We made about 230000 So, that's that's a bit less, which is fine. Still made money. And a good amount of money, but um, not as much as we had previously. So, that's, that's okay. So, it takes a bit more work and time to, to make our money. All right. Anyway, that's that's fine. Yeah, so, I hope, leave, leave a comment down below. And, like I said, we'll, we'll do an aerial flyover and just sort of show the status of, of where we're at. Um, and what's going on in the farm um, but uh, but yeah leave a comment let me know what you think um, any suggestions do you think I've done something wrong you think I should do something else or consider something to do um, I'm happy to take that input all right let's just put you down here all right now while we we do sign off we've got this guy here I'm going to quickly grab the other trailer and we're going to offload the combine and when we come back in the next episode, he will probably be close to finish, if not finished. In fact, he will be finished. Look out, he hasn't got much to do at all. Um, and then we'll come and collect all this straw. And then we wait to harvest the other fields. And then we join all these fields together. So, a bit of plough work to come and all that sort of stuff. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can get this unloaded quickly. As always, the problem is going to be he's going to want to take off very, very quickly. So we're going to have to try and get out of his way very, very quickly. Which we managed to do. All right, he's going to continue on. The huge pile of straw sitting there. Anyway, yeah, like I said, that's it for the episode. So, um, yeah, leave your comments. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed channel, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join us. If you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details for all those are down below in the description. But, of course, more than anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks Water Gaming and Elm Creek Farm. See you all later. Bye. Thank you.